Welcome to our channel Storm Rider. The USS Zumwalt, designated DDG-1000, is not just another destroyer in the US. Navy fleet, it is a complete rethinking of what a modern surface warship can be. As we look toward 2026, the Zumwalt has transitioned from being an experimental platform into a highly specialized, future-oriented combat vessel. Everything about this ship, from how it looks to how it fights and even how it generates power, was designed to challenge traditional naval design and prepare for next-generation warfare. At first glance, the Zumwalt does not resemble a conventional warship at all. Its sharply angled, inward-sloping hull gives it a futuristic, almost alien appearance. This design, known as a tumble-home hull, is not just for aesthetics. It plays a crucial role in stealth by reflecting radar waves away from enemy sensors rather than back toward them. Combined with smooth surfaces, minimal exposed equipment, and enclosed deck structures, the ship's radar signature is dramatically reduced. Even though the Zumwalt is one of the largest destroyers ever built, on enemy radar it can appear no larger than a small fishing vessel, which gives it a major tactical advantage in contested waters. The sheer size of the Zumwalt is another important factor in its capabilities. At approximately 610 feet long with a displacement of around 15,000 tons, it is significantly larger than the Arleigh Burke class destroyers that form the backbone of the US. Navy. This increased size allows for greater internal volume, which supports advanced systems, larger power generation capacity, and room for future upgrades. The ship's wide beam and low center of gravity also contribute to stability, allowing it to operate effectively in rough sea conditions while maintaining accuracy in weapon and sensor operations. One of the most revolutionary aspects of the USS Zumwalt is its integrated power system. Traditional warships use engines that directly turn propeller shafts, while separate generators provide electricity for onboard systems. The Zumwalt abandons this approach entirely. Instead, its gas turbines generate electricity that powers everything on the ship, including propulsion, sensors, weapons, and computing systems. This setup produces roughly 78 megawatts of power, an enormous amount for a destroyer. To put that into perspective, it is enough electricity to power tens of thousands of homes. This design allows the ship to dynamically distribute power where it is needed most, whether that is propulsion during high-speed maneuvers or advanced weapons systems during combat. This massive power reserve is especially important when discussing the Zumwalt's role heading into 2026 and beyond. The ship was built with future technologies in mind, particularly energy-intensive weapons such as high-energy lasers and electromagnetic systems. While some of these technologies are still evolving, the Zumwalt is one of the few ships already capable of supporting them without major redesign. This makes it a critical testbed and operational platform for next-generation naval weaponry. In terms of speed and maneuverability, the USS Zumwalt is capable of exceeding 30 knots, allowing it to keep pace with aircraft carriers and respond quickly to emerging threats. More importantly, it does so quietly. The electric propulsion system significantly reduces mechanical noise, making the ship harder to detect by enemy submarines that rely on sound to locate targets. In modern naval warfare, silence can be just as powerful as speed, especially in submarine-rich environments. The original mission of the Zumwalt focused heavily on naval gunfire support for ground forces. It was equipped with two advanced gun systems designed to fire precision-guided projectiles. At targets more than 60 miles inland. These guns were intended to provide accurate, long-range fire support for troops on shore. While the ammunition program for these guns faced cost and logistical challenges, the ship's role has since evolved rather than diminished. By 2026, the Zumwalt is being repositioned as a platform for advanced missile warfare, particularly hypersonic weapons. Hypersonic missiles travel at speeds greater than Mach 5 and can maneuver during flight, making them extremely difficult to detect and intercept. Integrating these weapons turns the Zumwalt into a powerful strike platform capable of hitting high-value targets at long distances with very little warning. This capability significantly enhances deterrence and gives commanders new options in high-intensity conflict scenarios. In addition to hypersonic missiles, the Zumwalt is equipped with a variety of vertical launch systems that allow it to carry different types of missiles depending on mission requirements. These can include air defense missiles to protect against aircraft and incoming missiles, 
anti-ship weapons to engage enemy vessels, and anti-submarine weapons to counter underwater threats. This flexibility allows the ship to adapt to different combat roles without needing major physical changes. The ship's sensor and combat management systems are equally advanced. The Zumwalt uses sophisticated radar and sensor arrays capable of tracking multiple threats simultaneously across air, surface, and potentially subsurface domains. All this data is processed through advanced computing systems that provide a clear, real-time picture of the battlefield. Automation plays a central role here, reducing the workload on sailors and improving reaction times during high-pressure situations. One of the most notable outcomes of this automation is the reduced crew size. The USS Zumwalt operates with a crew of roughly 150 sailors, compared to more than 300 on older destroyers. Fewer crew members mean lower operating costs and less strain on personnel, but it also demands higher levels of training and technical expertise. Each sailor on board the Zumwalt is responsible for more complex systems, reflecting a broader shift toward highly skilled, technology-driven naval operations. Crew survivability and comfort were also key considerations in the Zumwalt's design. Improved living quarters, modern workspaces, and better environmental controls help reduce fatigue during long deployments. In a ship designed to operate for extended periods in forward areas, maintaining crew effectiveness is just as important as weapons and sensors. Another important but less visible feature of the Zumwalt is its survivability in combat. The ship incorporates advanced damage control systems, compartmentalization, and automated fire suppression. Its stealth reduces the likelihood of being targeted in the first place, while its internal design increases its ability to absorb damage and continue operating if attacked. This layered approach to survivability reflects lessons learned from decades of naval combat and modern threat environments. What truly makes the USS Zumwalt stand out as we approach 2026 is its adaptability. Many older warships reach a point where upgrading them becomes impractical or too expensive. The Zumwalt, however, was designed from the beginning to evolve. Its open architecture combat systems, excess power capacity, and modular spaces allow it to integrate new technologies as they become available. This ensures the ship remains relevant even as warfare and technology continue to change. In the broader context of naval strategy, the Zumwalt represents a shift toward fewer but more capable ships. Rather than relying solely on large numbers, the U.S. Navy is investing in platforms that can dominate multiple domains, operate independently or as part of a strike group, and adapt to future threats. While the Zumwalt program faced criticism for its cost and limited number of ships, the lessons learned and capabilities achieved have had a lasting impact on naval design. In conclusion, the USS Zumwalt DDG-1000 is a bold and ambitious warship that embodies the future of naval warfare. Its stealthy design, revolutionary power system, evolving weapons loadout, and high level of automation make it one of the most advanced surface combatants ever built. As it moves fully into its upgraded role by 2026, the Zumwalt is no longer just an experiment but a powerful, flexible asset that showcases how technology, innovation, and forward thinking can redefine dominance at sea.